Greetings, and we hope you've been having a good, good week. We are coming to the end of our second week on just exploring and examining Jesus' teaching on faith. Today, I just want to review some of the key statements we have made over the last two weeks now on what Jesus taught us concerning faith. And uh, I know these are several statements that we have made, but I just want to remind us, review this for us, because this is so important. Jesus, the Bible says, is the author and perfecter of our faith. That's Hebrews chapter 12, verse 2. That means if he is the originator, the source, the main factor in our faith, then we definitely had to pay attention to everything he taught concerning faith. He's the author of our faith. And so all these things we've outlined from the teachings of Jesus concerning faith is very important. He's the author of faith, and he would expect us to follow his teaching concerning faith and practice that, live by, by that. So we said, Jesus taught us that all things are possible through faith. We will receive according to our faith. Our will and desire is involved in exercising faith. Faith is key to seeing the glory of God, the miraculous works of God taking place in our lives. The situations and things go from bad to worse. Continue believing, only believe. Faith is released or exercised as we speak words through our mouth out of a believing heart. Faith is exercised in prayer when we believe that we have received when we pray. Faith must be acted upon. We must have corresponding actions that express our faith. There are different levels of faith, so we can go from no faith to little faith to great faith in God. Great faith is simply believing the word God has spoken. Just taking it. God has spoken it. It's done. Great faith is persistent. Doesn't give up. Doesn't take no for an answer. Worry, fear, and doubt are things that negate our faith, and so we guard against that, against these things. Worry, fear, and doubt. So, these are some of the things Jesus taught us concerning faith. May you and I practice these things. He is the author and finisher of our faith, and He has given us an end-to-end -end detailing of how to have faith in God. Let's do it. Let's pray. And Lord, we ask that you would help us live by faith. Help us practice these things that you've taught us, Lord. As we keep our eyes on you, the author and finisher of our faith. In Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.